Let's try out another question from Stanford Maths Tournament. We have this limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine of x squared over x squared minus x squared cosine squared of x. Now, just plugging in x equals to 0 to all of the x's is not going to work because cosine of 0 is 1. So you're going to have 1 minus 1 squared or 0 on top. And when you plug 0 to the bottom, you're going to have 0 minus 0, which is going to be 0. And obviously, 0 over 0 is indeterminate, so that's not going to work. So we have to find some other way. You may say, because we have 0 over 0, we can try L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule, we can maybe try applying it. But obviously, differentiating this and differentiating x squared cosine squared of x is going to be a pain. So I'm not quite sure if that's the way to go, at least right away. So for now, I don't think L'Hopital's rule is the way to go. So what can we do? Well, let's look at this entire expression and see if anything pops out at us. And one thing that immediately pops out at me, I see that we can factor out these x squared, and we are going to have 1 minus cosine squared of x left, which is going to be sine squared of x. So that seems like an intuitive first step. So let's go ahead and simplify it. So we have 1 minus cosine of x squared. Taking out x squared, we get 1 minus cosine squared of x. And of course, 1 minus cosine squared of x is sine squared of x. So we have limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine of x squared over x squared sine squared of x. And I realize that we're squaring this thing, we're squaring this thing, and we're squaring this thing. So let's take out square from the entire thing. So let's take out the squaring part from the entire thing. So we're squaring this expression. And the expression inside should be 1 minus cosine of x over x times sine of x. And we are pretty close, but we see that we are still getting the indeterminate form 0 over 0. Because when you plug in x equals to 0 to the top, we get 1 minus cosine of 0, which is 1, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So we don't really like that. So we want to change that somehow. And how can we? There is a classic way of making the expression 1 minus cosine of x disappear, and that's multiplying by 1 plus cosine of x. Because when you multiply this by 1 plus cosine of x, you're going to get 1 minus cosine squared of x, which is going to be sine squared of x. So let's do that, multiply that to top and bottom, and we get, we get limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine squared of x, which is sine squared of x over x sine of x times 1 plus cosine of x. And of course, you're squaring the entire thing. And we immediately see that sine 1 sine of x are canceling out. So that's going to cancel out with one of the sine squared x. And we have limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over x, which we know how to evaluate. And we also have 1 over 1 plus cosine of x and we are squaring the entire thing. And we know limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over x, that's classic limit, that's going to be 1. And when you plug 0 into cosine of x, you get 1. So you have 1 over 1 plus 1 or 1 over 2 on this side. So you have 1 times 1 over 2 and you're squaring that. So the answer is 1 half squared, also known as 1 fourth. So the answer to this question, when we evaluate this limit, we get, we get one fourth.